hey, hey. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dito, and you are watching the Shades and Souls channel. So we got one, two, three boxes here. We're going to be talking about an independent brand. We're not talking about Nike. We're not talking about Adidas. We're not talking about Reebok, New Balance, Asics, whatever. This is an independent brand, a black-owned independent brand, okay? Support uh, black-owned independent brands. We support independent brands in general. Now, I may not have a lot of shoes from independent brands, but if I do, some of them are from this um, this brand right here. All right, what are we talking about? We're talking about the brand Saya or somewhere in America, okay? I've done two videos of Saya products. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with the brand. Not because, not because I don't like the product, but because most most of it is because of customer service. Okay, but besides that, let's just talk about the shoe and tell it how it is. Okay, so these are all of the same the same shoes. Okay, but before we go do that, let's talk about the box. Um, I believe this is the best box. They all look the same, but minor differences. So for these first two boxes, <clears throat> you see the tag right here or the name right there, right? And then you can see the handle right here, which this is how it's going to look if you can carry this, right? That's how it's going to look. But look at look at look at the name. So now it's upside down. Now it's upside down. Oops. Hold on, hold on. Now that name's upside down. And then what's bad about that is it's already upside down, but the box tag is right underneath. Okay? So, whereas the perfect one that I was talking about is the handle is right here, up top, handle right there. The name is correct, it's not upside down. And then the box tag is where it needs to be. So, I believe this is the correct version of how the boxes are made and like I said that this is an independent brand so you can do whatever they want boxes have already been discussed so let's talk about the shoes themselves the Saya collective this is Saya somewhere in America collective this color is the coolest gray the next color is the vault stealth and then the other one is called the survivors so all of the models, all of these models are all the same and they are called the culture vultures. I am not going to go dive into why they were called culture vultures because uh, it affects other brands. I, I don't want to talk about it, honestly. Um, I just don't feel like I have the time to talk about it. i just rather show you what the shoes look like. I hope all of you are staying safe during these COVID season. Okay, just to show you guys what's inside. Um, inside the box is, this is how you open the box, right? Hold on to me. As, because I know unboxing is one of my pet peeves, just to show you guys. So you open the box, this is what you get. The shoes, some coverings on the shoes. So this one actually came with this one, I just took it out and paper and all that stuff let's all grab the left pair side okay all right so we have everything we need for the video so coolest coolest gray vault stealth and the survivors coolest gray so originally the shoes came with these laces. I bought these laces because these were reflective. Um, the shoe in itself, so all of them come with EVA midsoles, right? I know this is not your typical EVA, where it's very hard. This one's actually very soft, man. Like all of them have the same, the same tooling, and all of them are really soft. What's what impressed me most is how soft they are, how, com how comfortable they are, and the uppers are really 
and I mean literally non-restrictive. Now when you check out the laces, how I lace this one, how I lace this one, and how I lace this, uh, this one was how it came with, okay? The type of lacing that I did was all um, a different variation because of how many lace holes. Look at that, there's another lace hole right there. Bro, there's so many lace holes in the shoe where you could just make your own shoe. This is because the one that's actually doing this is an actual designer and he wants you to be creative with his stuff also. So I already talked about the tooling, I already talked about the upper. This is like a knit upper, like a knit upper and the lacing. And that's why he also sells uh, different laces so you can actually customize your shoes. This is actually his uh, lace lock also. So Saya, Summer in America, the Culture Vulture um, logo. Look at that, like you got your own fly knit laces and your own, um, what do you call this? Metal tips right there with his brand, Saya. Uh, the laces were sold separately, the lace locks are sold separately, so it's basically customizing your own shoe. And not to mention, the insoles, man, they're, they're very soft. They're very soft. And on top of that, the finish is leather up top. So you got, you got really soft midsole, really soft shoe, really breathable and soft upper, and a premium feel on the foot with those insoles. So you're not gonna find any, you're not gonna find any uh, size tags right there. But instead, you get a size tag right here. Okay. So this is one of them. This is the coolest gray. And what does the coolest gray do? Check this out. So that, that's really reflective right there, man. Like, look at that. So not only is this reflective, the vault stealth is also reflective and the survivors are also reflective. So that's why I changed the laces because the laces weren't and they just didn't match these ones. So that's why I changed them. So the vault stealth right there, um, it's all black, vault color right there. As you see, I've, I've already worn this. Um, the lacing, I did it differently because I wanted the lace lock to be up front. And the, how I did the laces are different. You can see that. Everything's all the same. Like from, from where the size tag is, the form of the shoe and all of that. And again, what does this uh, particular colorway do? This is also reflective. Even the Saya logo is reflective on that lace lock. You see that? There you go. And if you guys want on foot so on this, I think I did I did, I did uh, stories on my IG for that uh, for the shoe. And lastly, the survivors. So he called this survivors in in dedication for women who are cancer survivors and all that stuff, right? Um, but what's really cool about this shoe is this shoe is pink. You can see that pink and gray. But if you put this under sunlight, every every pink color in this shoe, every pink color in this shoe turns to purple. Don't believe me? Here you go. Although I haven't worn the shoe yet, I'm pretty sure this week or next week I will. So keep an eye on my IG. My IG page right there keep an eye on my IG so you can get an on foot on this um, this is the original lacing or laces that come with it this is the laces that I bought for it to match the shoe they're also reflective and yeah they also change color under the Sun so I can't wait to wear these in public like people asking me what the hell did you just change shoes no bro this is the same shoe it just changed colors so there you have it that is the saya my saya collection culture vulture of culture vultures there you go so the name of the brand is saya collective um do i like saya collective products yes 
I just don't like um, how he deals with customers. So I have, I ordered this February, I ordered this April, but they both came in July. Well, that's what happens if you pre-order from an independent brand, you know, you just don't get, uh, you just don't get your product right away. And it's up to you if you want to take that risk or not. But me, I did because, like I said, I like his products. I just don't like the customer service. I'm just, I'm just keeping it real. Um, but this one, I ordered this on last May, and then I got it this August, like two days ago, literally. But yeah, those are my culture vultures. Will I get another, another pair? I don't know because. Um, I already got two reflectives, three including this, one that changes color under the sun, and I don't, I don't have any of his um, uh, glow in the dark stuff where you actually bring one of them in outside, and then the upper charges up, and then when you bring it, bring it inside uh, a dark room, like, it just shows like a different color of uh, glowing in the dark. So. Yeah, his his products are really cool, but I'll let you deal with him if you can deal with him. So there you have it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for your support. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of the Culture Vultures and the brand Sia Collective. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for your support. It's your boy Dizo signing off. Peace out.